Another weekend is gone, guys, and another web series to review. Breathe into the shadows. Amazon Prime's original latest second season is out. First, let's talk about the cast of Breathe season two. Abhishek Bachchan plays Avinash Sabarwal, and for some unknown reason, Abhishek is credited as Abhishek A. Bachchan after nearly 20 years of his career on screen. Nitya Menon played as Abha Sabarwal and works as a chef. Amit Saad plays Kabir, a return character from season 1. Spoilers ahead guys! The series is a 12 episode, all under 50 minutes or so. The series starts in Delhi with the kidnapping of Sia, daughter of Avinash and Abha Sabarwal, from a birthday party. Nine months pass and no sign of Sia or the kidnapper. Avinash and Abha lose all hopes they placed on the police. Suddenly a light of hope when they receive a package from the kidnapper. A menacing voice on a digital device asking the Sabarwals how far will they go to save their daughter. They have to take lives of people to save their own child. And so the mystery begins. Inspired by Ravan's 10 emotions, the kidnapper asks Avi and Ava to apply these to the victims. Anger, lust, and fear are few emotions we get to see while Avi and Abha plan the murders. Just before the reveal of the kidnapper, Kabir and Avi cross paths just after the first murder. In episode 5, the kidnapper's face is revealed, who is also Abhishek Bachchan but with a different identity. I started to believe that this was another evil or bad twin story, but it was not. The surprise was Avinash and Jay are the same person who suffers from a multiple personality disorder. I know, Ajay Devgan's Devaniki just came in your minds, or Jay McCoy's split. From episode 6, we start to see a lot of flashback of why Jay even exists inside Avi. The series could have ended at least on episode 10 or even 8, but the writer really stretched on the premises of Gabir's guilt, interest towards Meghna, or trying to pursue towards girl-to-girl -to -girl moments where we see Abha and Natasha. The two sub-inspectors who were with Gabir, Prakash and Jay Prakash was a good addition for most of the comic timings. The two other characters that we see not so much are Ziva and Shirley. As Avi and Abha try to play Jay's game of killing, Avi suspects Gabir may have a lead on the murders so he plans himself with the investigations team. As the flashbacks happen, we get to know more why Avi doesn't know anything about his other personality, and why Jay goes rogue after so many years of protecting Avi. After a roller coaster ride, Appa finally figures the truth about Jay and saves Sia with the help of Gabir and his Prakash team. Gabir gives Appa a clean sheet in court thinking Sia should at least have one of her parents with her. While on the other hand, we see three years later Avi is in a mental institute. He tells Abha he is recovering very well and wants to come home, but Abha is unsure about that idea. Later, we see Avi and Jay meet Shirley, Jay's love interest, and he hands her a note, C16, which could possibly be a code between them for escape. Nevertheless, the director Mayank Sharma left an open ending to its 12-episode series. I enjoyed this season but not as much as the first in which I was really overwhelmed by the execution. Abhishek Bachchan did a great acting and justified both characters Avi and Jay. I wouldn't say it was a powerful delivery but one of his best. Nitya Menon adds a great performance to the story but we don't see much of her emotional side but she was great in every episode. Amit Saad was good but I think he could have been better as he didn't have much to do but to follow murders and dealing with his guilt, yet he delivered what he was accounted for to its best. I'd give 3.5 stars as it did keep me awake from episode 1 to 12, with twist and suspense. Even after the credits rolled, I was amazed with everyone's performance. Thank you everyone for watching. See you in another video. Till then, stay safe and if you like the video, subscribe and leave a comment.